checkered flag is a, especially this year, is a really important exercise as it's the first time that the F-22 and F-35 are really in a joint operation uh, involving other platforms as well like the F-15 and F-16. It's a unique year this year because the F-35 has just gained its initial uh, operational combat capability and we're able to plug and play all these different assets into one fight. So one of the challenges of operating with F-22s is it's like flying with a blindfold on. You never quite know where they're coming from. What this allows them to do is to become more and more comfortable uh, playing the game with that blindfold on in relation to where the F-22s are. So we get to uh, build and execute contracts uh, which allow us to comfortably and effectively interoperate. I think the uh, biggest uh, pro of this exercise is the fact that we get to um, be part of the entire mission planning cycle. So all the way from briefing the day prior to uh, going out and flying with the guys and then the debrief after. It's been about a 12-hour cycle with some early days going from about 5 in the morning to 5 in the evening, uh, but it's been great to have that um, full circle, uh, getting in there, briefing, debriefing, and getting all the learning points out. Yeah, this training has been uniquely important for me as I'm upgrading from the wingman uh, role uh, to a flight lead responsibility in the F-22. And what that normally means is just directing other F-22s around uh, either a two-ship or a four-ship. But what checkered flag allows is, especially the F-22 being the primary uh, air superiority fighter, is we're in charge of a big aerial conflict if one should arise. So as becoming a flight lead now, I'm not only going to be in charge of my F-22 formations in a large aerial conflict, but then now, uh, like on Friday, directing F-35s, F-16s, and F-15s uh, in their tactics and game plans as well, as we all look to a combined force um, achieve our objectives on the missions. With the participants we have, we have uh, both uh, Strike Eagles, F-16s, F-22s, and then now with the F-35, We've got both fifth to fifth gen uh, integration as well as fifth to fourth with all our uh, premier fighter assets here uh, combined minus the F-15C. So uh, definitely a huge win for the air crew and the ground crews uh, to work together with the newest uh, piece of our Air Force uh, going into the future.